Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So this is going to be Saturday Night Special episode 101. And behind me, we've got a bunch of viewer appreciation mail that's been coming in. Some of this has been rolling in through the past week, and some of it I just got today. Uh, one of those boxes over there, it was funny, I, I was walking up to the porch a little while ago, and uh, it was in that this crate right here. I was like, oh man, another crate full of boxes, but it's marked very heavy, and it is. It's over 55 pounds, so I don't have a clue what that is, but it is very heavy. So today I'm, I'm going to uh, try to get out here and, and, and get these boxes opened up. Uh, by the way, today is Christmas Eve, and, and this is going to be a Christmas episode, basically. So uh, I hope everybody has had a very good Christmas and uh, enjoying your holiday and I'm gonna try to enjoy mine I got a couple days off here um, and I'm gonna try to enjoy them while I can so I come out this morning I've been I've been real busy all week long and I had a a, a fantastic time reading all of the comments from episode 100 parts 1 and 2 I had I had so many comments to go through I had over 500 comments and I wasn't I wasn't able to go through them as quickly as I, I usually try to do and so today you know today's Christmas Eve and I had the day off and I come out here and I started going through all the comments and, and trying to reply to as many people as I could but there was a lot to go through but I just wanted to uh, tell everybody everybody that commented and, and um, they were all great I didn't have one bad comment on either one of these videos man they were all excellent comments got a lot of uh, got a got some good information on my granddad uh, there was one comment there that was left and and uh, somebody really was very knowledgeable on the uh the regiment there that my uh, granddad was a uh, part of in the army and and left a really good informative comment for me so i really appreciate that and and then on top of that just getting all of the well wishes from everybody out there uh really appreciating the efforts that i put forth into those two videos and i was surprisingly nervous whenever I made those because I wanted them to come out I wanted them to come out good okay and I wanted to try to tell the story and and it be fun not not a boring video but you know from what you guys tell me you you enjoy everything that I put out there anyway so it's really great hearing that from everybody man I, I just cannot thank you guys enough and for all the support you keep giving me it's uh, much greatly appreciated by me so we're going to try to keep these going, all right? So I think for this episode, 101, I want to go ahead and get these boxes open and see what has come into the shop. I want to get the crate open, and let's take a look at what's inside that, and we'll talk about that. It's going to be an upcoming project here for the shop. And then I've got another small project that I want to do. It's a very small machining project that we've been uh, kind of putting on hold, so I'm going to try to get that squeezed in also and hopefully it'll it'll make a good video here so i'm gonna go ahead and uh and get started on these but right now i'm waiting on my buddy gil to show up we haven't got to see each other in a little while and uh we're gonna go have some lunch probably go down here to the mexican joint and get a burrito and uh, hang out for a little while and then when i come back i'm gonna get started on these boxes okay so we'll see you in a minute all right well me and gil went and had a nice lunch together uh that was fun we haven't seen each other in quite a while so we were good that we were able to catch up so just got back I'm gonna go ahead and start going into some of these boxes and seeing what I got here so I, I'm gonna start with these three these three I've already opened here typically whenever I do uh, viewer appreciation mail things like that I've gotten for a long time now where I like to go ahead and pre-open things and have them have them out and uh, know what I'm going to talk about and it really cuts back on the video time there of showing opening the box and pulling stuff out not knowing what it is so uh, that's just been my style I like to have it already open but we may open some of these on camera I, I don't I don't know yet this first one we're gonna start with comes from Randall Warner he's from Denmark Maine and what he done is he recently bought the same Covell surface grinder that I got the Covell 7b and this is a copy of the owner's manual that he had bought, I think he bought it off eBay, and what he said he wanted to do, since I didn't have one, is he copied it, and he sent me a copy, 
and it's just photocopy, but that's very cool. It's got a, it's got a lot of your basic information in it on the machine, so I'll have a reference there if I need to uh, when I when I go to start working on the machine. So very cool, Randall. I really appreciate that. That was awesome. All right, next box. This comes to us from James Kilroy up in Vicksburg, Mississippi. And he has sent me some very nice milling cutters right here. These are all radius cutters. So if I need to cut a radius using the uh, using either an arbor or, or a, you know the horizontal setup. I just want to see what sizes the are, these are real quick. Okay, so that one's a 5 eighths. This one's probably a half inch. And what is this? A 5 sixteenths? It's a quarter inch. So those are really nice right there. And he did write me a, a cool letter. And he said, uh, Adam, here's a few tokens of my appreciation as both a viewer and a friend. Congratulations on your 100th Saturday night special episode. I've really enjoyed your videos over the past year and look forward to many more. I get a great amount of enjoyment seeing my old K&T being put right into good use. The cutters I've sent will work perfectly on that machine. And uh, he goes in to tell me where uh, he actually had planned to come down for a vacation, him and the family. And that's whenever he was having problems with his mother. And uh, <clears throat> very sorry that what you had to go through there, James, with your mom. I know the feeling there. But there's always next year, and I hope I get to see you and, and uh, Thomas and uh, the family again next year, okay? So thank you very much for the cutters. As you know, these will be put in good use, okay? All right, our next box. This is from uh, Stan Zinkowski out there in California, uh, Shade and HKW on YouTube. All right. This is the second holiday shipment of spiked fudge that he sent me. <laughs> so he, he sent a box of these last year. And what this is, is fudge that he and his wife makes and it's spiked with Sailor Jerry's rum, <laughs> which is my favorite rum. Just delicious, man. So thank you very much, Stan, for the fudge. That's good stuff, man. I like that. All right. Let's move this down, and we'll uh, pick another box to open up. Okay, so the next box that I opened up was that um, box that was there wrapped in paper. And this is from Rodney Luck. And... from Rodney is from Quilicum I'm sorry Quilicum Beach British Columbia Canada I hope that I said that right so he wrote a very nice letter and there's a couple things going on right here one of them is this set of screwdrivers he wanted to give me as a gift these are called Pickwick and they're made in Canada a Quebec Canada I believe he said um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Vancouver, Vancouver, Canada, okay, so, and there's three different sizes, I believe the Teeny Turner, I think I've got one of these already, somebody give me one of these, I can't remember who it was, but somebody has given me one of the Teeny Turners, but these do look really nice, you can just look at the packaging and tell that it's pretty good quality there, okay. So, Rodney in his letter was suggesting, he was just making suggestions since I had talked about some different project ideas in the coming future here for like 2016 or some stuff over the winter. And all he wanted to do is just kind of make some suggestions on maybe something that, that I could do or anybody, anybody that's doing videos uh, out there and it'd be something for people to follow along and maybe things that they could build for themselves. So he was just giving me a couple ideas, and he sent along this Machinist Workshop magazine, and one of the articles in here is how to build a ring roller. 
okay? So he was thinking that would be a fun project to build and put on video, and that's something that guys could use, and um, it, it would be a fun video series and things for people to build along with you. So he's got a couple other ideas in here also, uh, building a, um, a jack using a, um, I'm sorry, building a press using a hydraulic bottle jack, something that anybody can buy down at the auto parts store. And he's got a couple other ideas in there too. So I'll definitely keep that stuff in mind, Rodney. Now, I do have my own projects that I want to do, the, uh, such as the, uh, you know, the arm for the k and I want to work on that. And I do want to work on some hydraulics, but I'm, I'm wanting to build a hydraulic cylinder for my big press outside. And I, I'm just trying to come up with a design on how I want to build it and how I want it to uh, power it, whether it's going to be a hand pump or are powered but I, I really like to have a power unit and be able to flip a switch and uh, run that thing so anyway thank you very much for the screwdrivers and the magazine uh, I'd like to look through this and see what else is in there but I really appreciate the uh, the ideas and the gifts man thank you very much just going through Ernie's package here and having to uh, pick through the uh, the shreddings because he's got all of his tools that he sent me mixed in there. <laughs> he's making me work for this one, man. But looks like there's a lot of cool stuff in this box right here. It's just packed full, man. They're all mixed in. All right, we finally got into uh, this box right here. And this was sent in by Ernie Ashtonbach, and he is from Leeds, Pennsylvania. And very, very nice assortment of carbide right here. It's carbide inserts, carbide end mills, and there's even a few tool holders here. There's one of the turning tools there. And we've got a boring bar. All these take the triangular tape, uh, triangular shape of tools. Here's a TRW right here. This is another one of those turning tools that looks like it's been milled down to fit a smaller tool post. Nice assortment of center drills, all brand new. And even some top-notch threading inserts and these are great because my friend Mike just recently gave me one of those top-notch tool holders uh, that you use this style insert for for threading and grooving and for radius tools <clears throat> so these will go with that tool holder and I, I have been using that by the way Mike and it's been working out great for me so a little story about where these why he sent these to me um, he sent we we talk through email a little bit he had a very good friend that actually uh, passed away back in, uh, in July of this year and he had a shop there at his house and you know like a machine shop and they sold out the uh, the shop they sold off everything but they still had some tooling left and I guess this is what was left there he said that all this stuff was left over it didn't sell and his wife didn't know what to do with it so she gave it to him and said here you can do what you want with it so he emailed me and all he said in his email was is um, hey I've got a few uh, carbide inserts that I'd like to send you if you want them I was like okay yeah send them on we'll see if we can use them and this is what showed up right here <laughs> and there's a lot of these uh, TPG style of inserts TPG 431's and 432's it's quite a bit so we got some carbide. There's a bunch of carbide inserts there. There's another carbide end mill. There's some inserts. These are all carbide end mills. All brand new carbide end mills. So this is a very, very nice lot of tools right here. And you know, you can rack up quite a bit of money if you were trying to buy this stuff. So I really appreciate it, Ernie. 
Uh, I really like to put this stuff to use and, and such as like these tool holders here. I, I've had quite a few of these things and there's been several times where I have, I have guys in the shop and you know, we're going through tools, we're looking at stuff and I find out that they're in need of tools also, right? They're, they, don't, they don't have a lot of stuff. So whenever I find somebody that's, that's needing stuff like this, you know, I, I'll give it to them. I, I'll let them have it. I, I pay it forward. I pass it on. Uh, I've done that several guys in the shop before. I had a whole pile of um, turning tools in that drawer, and I kept giving them away, giving them away, because I kind of stick to the same ones that I usually use. But to like this boring bar right here, you know, I don't have one like that, actually. Uh, most cases, one that size, I'd be just pulling out a small boring bar that takes a little high-speed tool bit. But having that would be nice right there. So there's even some really small ones right here, some real small carbides. He put a little note there. It says, nice to hear the ping whenever they snap. <laughs> but it is some 332nd carbide end mills. Very cool. So thank you very much, Ernie. They will be put to good use, whether they're in my shop or the next guy gets them. They will be put to use, okay? I'm really sorry to hear about your friends passing. But um, thank you very much for the tools, though, okay? Our next gift is, uh, this is out of this big box right here. <clears throat> this, this was sent to me by Bob Crockett, and he is from Lemoyne, Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. And this is some material, some plastic that, that he has, that he says is excellent for cutting boards. And it has other uses around the shop, too. Uh, he, he's used it for a couple other things, but uh, he said he wanted to send me some because they make good cutting boards and it's made out of uh, an antibacterial type of plastic and it's uh, for the commercial food industry. It's a, it's a food industry grade of plastic. So he sent a couple pieces that size there and then a couple bigger ones right here. All right, and he says they work great for cutting boards. It doesn't, nothing sticks to it very well, so they're easy to wash off. So I really appreciate that, Bob. I do, I have, I have one cutting board that I use for when you know, I'm doing like my ribs and stuff like that. And sometimes when I'm doing a lot, I, I do want another cutting board over there, another nice size cutting board. So I'm definitely going to use, use at least one of these for, a, for another cutting board, like you say. So that's pretty cool, man. I uh, really appreciate you uh, sending sending that to me, and and uh, some nice material to have around here. This next box of tools that I've opened up is uh, was sent to me by Chris Johnson, and he is from New Hampshire, Jaffrey, New Hampshire, and he's got a box full of rusty and crusty carbide tool holders, and most of these are. Uh, I would say the more of an obsolete style. Now this one is uh, still widely used right here. It's a uh, VNMG insert, but some of these would be very useful. Like this one here, that'd be great for uh, doing. You can do use this for turning or chamfering, or like if you've got a piece that's flame cut, you know, uh, a, a, the insert position like that during your cut is is great for getting underneath interruptions. So this one's been extended, so there's a bar welded to it, okay? They would be a good candidate for some of that evapo rust, so I need to get another bottle of that. I've been wanting some and, and start uh, treating some of these tools again. So I'll probably take these and uh, give them a good soak and try to get all that rust off of them and see how they turn out. But he, he wrote me a very nice letter here and was telling me about uh, a recently a, a bridge port in the South Bend that he had bought from somebody. Uh, there was a man that owned a machine shop and he closed down and uh, anyway he had ended up acquiring a bridge port in the South Bend and he's, uh, he's paid attention to all my videos and he said that he's picked up quite a bit from them. He's a lot more comfortable running the machines on how to, how to set your speeds and feeds and uh, different uh, cutting oils to use and he's even talking about some books that he has bought and he's been reading the books 
So that was a very nice letter. And he also sent a couple pictures of his machines there, his Bridgeport and his South Bend. So very cool, Chris. And uh, thank you for the Christmas card. That was very nice also. So we'll, uh, we'll put these with the, with the collection here. Hopefully get them cleaned up. And if I end up not using them, of course, they'll, they'll be passed on to others who can use them, okay? So thank you very much, Chris and family. All right, so this is from Kent Hendrickson, Wood and Metal Workshop in Duluth, Minnesota. And this thing weighs 55 pounds. So let's go ahead and I'm really curious as to what is in this box here. So let's find out. All right, he's got her. Oh, yeah. Something big and bad in there, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I got to get my uh, drill motor over here and unscrew the, the wood. Okay. Let's see what he has to say right here. Before we even open it up. Adam, once again, thank you for your time and effort you put into your channel. After starting my own channel, Wood and Metal Workshop, a month, ago, um, a month or so ago, I know the time and effort it takes. Please find and close a set of Carver very heavy duty milling clamps. There's a part number there. I figured that you would find a place to use them. They came with the fixture plate that I bought to, re to reuse for welding fixturing tabletop. From my research, clamping pressure inward is up to 10,000 pounds and down force is up to 4,000 pounds. A bomb size for sure. <laughs> I would, if you would please check out my channel and pass along the hints that you care to. And I wouldn't be opposed to you mentioning my channel. <laughs> Looking forward to SNS 100. Congrats. So, you've already seen SNS 100. That was last week. So, his YouTube channel again is Wood in Metal Workshop. I'll throw the link up there so you guys can see that. P.S. If you could let me know when you are going to post a video of opening it up would be great. I have a video of boxing them up. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll send you an email, Kent, and let you know. You'll know before we actually see this live. So let me go get my uh, drill motor and we'll get this thing unboxed, okay? Well, thanks to Colton, I've got the proper tip that I need for the screwdriver to take these out. These are the star drive wood screws here. Alrighty. Man, look at them. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Alright, you got them. Yeah, you got them bolted in there. <laughs> so, I got to do some more unbolting. Some good hardware there. We can put back in the bin. save these two put in the bin down there for future use All right so I'm assuming that they're gonna stack like this I've never seen these before. I'm going to have to look them up online and see exactly how they're used. But it looks as though you, you clamp them down here using a stud, a stud and a nut. You clamp both of them down and 
this this rotates, and I'm assuming so that you can line up your T-slot with a, you know your stud with a T-slot, and it's different size. So it looks like you've got maybe you can use um, either half or, or three quarter hardware there, and then. This one is adjustable, so it's going to move like a vise, and it's going to push them together. You're going to sandwich them together. So they're a Carver T550 is what they are. And this uh, T550 slash two, so you have a one and a two. All right, so it should be a it should be a pair. Um, I, there's probably guys that know exactly what these are and you're no 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 but yeah that should be a set that they go together uh, that's pretty neat I can really see how these things could be just hold the world down to your table there they got some very aggressive jaws the serrations that are cut in the jaws out there very deep so you can really bite into something a big housing or a uh, a casting or a big block of steel or something. That's pretty cool right there. Man, that's awesome. Well, Kent, I don't know what to say other than thank you very much. This is a this is a really nice tool. It, this looks like a very expensive tool. If it was something that I'm, you know, out there hunting and buying, but I'm going to do a little research online. And I'm going to see if I if I can find some pictures of this thing uh, being used and. I'm looking forward to giving it a shot, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much. And I <laughs> hope you enjoyed the unboxing right here. And I'll save your hardware there. Oh, he did send me some stickers too. We got some stickers for his channel there. Uh, the Metal Melon Wood Workshop. So I'll definitely put you, a, we'll put you a sticker up over here. And thank you again very much, Kent. I really, really appreciate it. And we'll be seeing this here in the future on the channel, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, crack the top on this wood crate right here. And, and this is actually from uh, Bill Ashcraft over at Five Star Machine up in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And I also consider it from uh, Dana and Patrick McAllister. Uh, I've talked about them before. They came and visited, and, and uh, I had a really good... I've become uh, good friends with them, you know, we, we stay in touch. But anyway, Bill has recently purchased the same mill that I have, the Kearney and Trekker uh, 307 S12. He just bought one. And his come with the arm, or the, as KNT call it, the parking attachment that goes on the top of the mill that holds the vertical head. So what he decided to do was uh, send it to me so that I'd have a, a sample to copy and we'll build one for my mill. And that's going to be a, a real uh, up and coming uh, project here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this last screw out of here. And we'll, we'll take a peek and see what it looks like. And it looks like there's some extras in here. <laughs> So let's see, let's see what we got here. Peanut brittle, awesome. That's great. So peanut brittle. That looks like some homemade soap by Patrick McAllister. That's pretty cool. I can smell it too, man. Birds and bees honey. Big bottle of honey. So I'm sure that's from the local up there in Arkansas. All right. And we have some jalapeno ketchup. <laughs> Very cool. Maybe I should put that stuff there so we can, so we can see it there. All right. I'm gonna have to 
do some more uh, unscrewing here. We've got some braces down in there to hold everything together. Uh, Dana, you did a fantastic job on the crating here. It's definitely held in there and it looks like this is going to be a pretty fun project to build. There's a few more goodies down in here. Uh, oh, let me see what's... Oh, okay, cool. We got a... We actually have a printout of what this thing is going to look like. The real deal. Parking crane attachment. Alright. And uh, there's, there's Bill's business right there. Five star machine. Looks like we got one more extra right here. Let me uh, find my knife. So by the way, today is actually Christmas Day. December 25th. And you see I'm not in my actual work clothes. I'm in my just regular clothes and I'm not out here working. I just wanted to, I was saving all these boxes for, uh, for basically Christmas. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> opening up gifts. All right, well, it looks like we got some hot sauce. What's this? Arkansas Heat Wave 4X Hot Sauce. <laughs> All right, that's cool, man. I'm gonna looking forward to trying that too. I always enjoy getting the different barbecue sauces and hot sauces from everybody. It's always great tasting other ingredients from other parts of the country. So, all right, she had another address label taped down inside there on top of the part, and that was pretty smart just in case you never know what's gonna happen in transit. This thing gets busted open. All right, so that's what it looks like. That thing still looks brand new, man, like it ain't never been used before. There's something else down in here too. I don't know if that's an extra or what. So let me finish getting this, um, the screws taken out and we'll, we'll pull it out of there and look at it, okay? All right, we finally got it out of the crate. I had, a, I had to take all them boards out of there and there was some broke screws, so. I had to get out the heavy artillery and get it out of there. But here she is. Very heavy piece. So this is a, a factory made, uh, made out of cast iron. And I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit on the machine to kind of get a feel for exactly how it works. But I got an idea there. So we got a a bolt that'll actually screw down into the the, um, the vertical head and then you can tighten it up so it'll sit about like so on the machine not like that all right and then there's another piece to it here so here's the pin so we'll have to machine one of those very simple job and that pin is going to fit up through here there's a roll pin here, so that'll fit through and get roll pin together. And this will sit down into the machine. And it'll actually pivot, pivot right there. So, very nice, man. It doesn't look like this thing was used much, or either they cleaned it up and uh, painted it or something, but it still looks brand new. So, thanks very much, guys. You know, Bill and Dana and, and uh, Patrick for helping me out with this. And this is, this is really nice to actually have one here that I can copy. That I don't have to worry about um, somebody else measuring one and sending prints and sketches. You know, I've got one that I can just measure and go right off of. So this is going to be pretty cool to, uh, to build. Probably going to be some heavy milling on this, some heavy plate steel. So we'll get into this later uh, whenever I get everything ready and we'll start the project on this, okay? So there we go. Thanks a lot, guys. I just wanted to say again, thank you for all the little extras right here. We've got the jalapeno ketchup, the hot sauce, the honey, some homemade soaps, and a bucket of peanut brittle. So thank, thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. That's nice of you. Mm -hmm.